Williams with the More Free Glory Project, getting ready for day two of Backyard Bible Club Seed Sowers. Here's to the activity that you may enjoy doing with your children and preparing to teach them this lesson from the parable of the sower. So our theme this year for our seed sowers is know it, to grow it, grow it, to sow it. All right. So in the parable of sower, the sower went out to scatter seed uh, onto his land and the first seeds, they landed on the path, a hard path. So I'm just going to take a couple of northern beans and put them right here on a plate. No dirt, no rocks, just on a plate. In the parable, people walked across them, stepped on the seeds, and eventually birds came, picked up those seeds, and took them away. All right. Now here's the second one. The second area where the seeds landed was on a place where there was shallow earth and there was there was hard rock, there was bedrock underneath. So to illustrate that one, I'm just going to take some of those decorative rocks out of our... Uh, or dare I say garden area in the house okay in the clay pot I'm gonna fill it I'm not gonna fill it all the way up so I don't know if you can see here I'm still leaving about an inch of space there then I'm gonna take some good garden soil and sprinkle some on top just enough to cover the rocks okay so it's mostly rocks okay you can still see your rock or two sticking out okay but it's mostly rocks I sprinkle a little dirt right there on top okay so that's my second pot of soil and I'm going to plant a couple seeds in there I'll go three for each one how's that one northern beans and all of these two and three okay so this is the one that was planted in shallow earth Okay, in the parable, these ones sprang up quickly. However, because they had no moisture, when the sun came up and uh, was very hot, it caused the plants to wither and die. So this is, this is also kind of a science experiment, by the way, okay? Because if you would check in with us every week, we're gonna check on the progress of these plants to see if they actually grow or not. Now, the next, scenarios the seeds fell on the ground that was filled with thorns so for this one or around the one that's filled with weeds so i've got a dandelion plant i just dug up out the yard there's plenty to choose from made sure that there was a good root still attached to the dandelion okay so i'm going to put some good soil in here place the dandelion in there get that root down there in the dirt and then whoop, and then we're gonna put some good soil around that dandelion, okay? And as we do this, it's, it's a Bible lesson with a science experiment to it, okay? I am gonna water this just as I would water the one that was in good soil, and we're gonna see how well our bean grows or will the dandelion choke it out. Okay, so I've planted that dandelion, and here come three beans. I'm gonna pick three put three beans there in the soil with the dandelion again there's some good soil in here but it's got weeds in the way all right so the weeds already got roots all right the bible says that the one that fell on the one that fell on the thorny ground the ground that was filled with weeds the plant did shoot up but because the person's heart was filled with worldly care and concerns about money that the word that was in their heart was choked out by the weeds or the thorns. I didn't do the, the application on this one. This is the person who, uh, the shallow soil, someone who accepts the word with joy and it sprouts up immediately. However, when difficulty comes because they have no root, they shrivel up and they die spiritually. And then the one that lands on the path, this is the seed, the word that falls upon a heart whose heart doesn't understand the word of God and Satan quickly takes that word to where the person forgets what they were even told about the word of God. All right, so there we go. Hard, hard path, stony ground or shallow earth. We've got our weeds. Okay, I didn't, I didn't 
choose any thorns, <laughs> but we've got a good strong weed here. Now, for this one, this is the good ground. This is the person who hears the word. Keep here. This is the person with a with an honest and good heart hears the word, keeps it, and produce fruit with patience. Note the patience. So as we're doing this experience, it's going to take a couple of weeks to see those beans sprout up and several weeks before we can see them start to sprout. So if you'll follow with us over the course of a few weeks, we are going to see the bean that was planted in good soil is the one that's going to produce fruit or produce flowers, produce leaves after some time passes. So this is the one we're going to fill up with soil. Again, we've got some good garden soil. Our family uh, actually uses compost. We had started compost bin last year. So we had a nice amount of compost to add to our garden box. I'm going to fill that up, but try to remove any of that kind of dead weed material. Okay, very good. So I'm going to plant these ones, three beans, three northern beans. One. To, I chose northern beans because we had used this for a school science project before in which you just put a bean in a wet paper towel, set it out in the windowsill, and it actually started to sprout within a day or two. So I know that these sprout very quickly. Uh, that's why I chose the northern bean. One of my boys said, Mom, let's try field peas as well. So this one is painted and decorated. God loves us and sent his son from 1 John 4, 9. So this one's gonna be good soil as well. We just wanna try a different kind of bean. And this is a variation on the science experiment in terms of now, our, for here, this science experiment here, the one variable that does not change our constant is we're using the same kind of bean. But our variable is the soil type. Whereas the second experiment, we've got the same soil type but we're using a different kind of bean to see which bean grows faster. Okay, so I've got a nice pot full of soil. This one's a little bit more full because I had to make room for that weed, the root for the weed. Um, but I do like to fill it where there's maybe a half an inch of space there at the top. Not that I'm a horticulturist, but just walking through how I planted this one. Now these beans are smaller, field peas, the, the seeds here are much, much smaller. I don't know if you can see from there. If I try to tilt, I'll spill them, okay? But these are these are much, much smaller. I'm gonna go ahead just because we use three in this one. I'll use three in this one as well, okay? So just plant those seeds in there. Now, let's be fair here. We do know that for any seed to grow and any plant to grow, it's going to need three things is going to need good soil right secondly it's going to need water and third it's going to need sunshine now all of these plants need sunshine to grow however we're going to find that the one in shallow earth couldn't handle the sunshine because it didn't have that good earth where it could take root all right so we are going to water all right i'm actually going to put a little water here on the path here okay so these want to get some water but there won't be any soil and I'm not watering them beyond today, okay? So they're just getting a little water today, that's it. Over here on, actually no, to make it equal, I'm gonna water them all, okay? Just to see what happens. Will this one right here on the plain path, will this one grow? Will this one grow with water and just sitting out on the plain path, okay? Not a paper towel, but I'll spritz it with a little water, okay? I poured water, so I drained the extra water out, okay? All right, and this one here with the rocky soil is still gonna get the same rain, right? Is When it rains, it rains on the path, it rains on the rocky soil, the shallow earth, it rains on the thorny patch. That's why the thorns are growing so well, right? It also rains on the good soil. So I'm gonna put a little, little rain in each pot here. We're gonna water them. It is hot here in North Carolina. I mean, ooh, hot. So these may need to be watered every day or every other day. Just want to make sure that the, the earth, the, um, the soil does not get 
dry. Granted, we're going to expect this one to dry out because there really isn't much dirt in here to go with. It's mostly rocks. Okay, so that's our experiment. Now, on a spiritual token, my thought is perhaps when the Word of God is planted in our hearts, the Word of God being the seed, we need to water it with prayer. And we also need to expose ourselves to the sunlight of good fellowship with other Christians. Whether you go to church in person or because of COVID precautions, you choose to worship at home online, you still need to make yourself some good Christian friends that can encourage you in faith. And in order for the word of God to produce good fruit, it needs to take root in your heart. And the best way for the word of God to take root in your heart is if you read your Bible every day. There's a little song that we sing that goes, read your Bible, pray every day, and you'll grow, 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 okay? If you read your Bible, just like having that seed in good soil, it's gonna take root into your heart, and it's going to help you make good decisions, and God is going to help you cultivate the fruit of the spirit so that love and joy and peace and patience will show in your life goodness and kindness and so uh faithfulness and self-control are all manifestations of the fruit of the spirit so we want to pray every day that's like watering your seed so as we read the word of god we also want to pray that god help us understand what we have read so if you wouldn't mind I'm going to go ahead and pray with you uh, with regards to this Bible lesson and hopefully you'll check in with us once a week to see how our garden is growing because these are already labeled you'll know what's in them so again the saucer the, the plain saucer with no earth that's the hard ground our know it our know it planter this is the shallow soil this is the grow it it's got weeds in it and then the sow it we have good soil also god loved us as good soil as well for the field peas so let's pray heavenly father we thank you so much for your word it's a lamp to our feet and a light into our path we're asking you today to speak to us and show us what kind of heart do we have do we have a hard heart if we have a hard heart lord god please soften our hearts that we might receive your word do we have a shallow heart we're happy to heal and hear your word lord god but lord god please remove the stones in our hearts so that the word of god would take root help us lord god to read your word every day and help us to understand it lord god if our heart is filled with weeds and thorns lord god we're too worried about the things that are going on in the world or there are other things more important like uproot those weeds in our hearts so that the word of God may grow and flourish. Heavenly Father, please help us have good soil, good hearts, Lord God, that we might read the Bible and talk to you every day so that you would help us to understand and live according to your word. And one day, Lord God, show forth the fruit of the Spirit so that we can sow seeds into the lives of others that they too might hear the word and grow by it. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, well, enjoy your Vacation Bible School at home with seed sowers. Hopefully you'll check in with us once a week to see our progress in our little science experiment. And always remember, it's all about His glory.